lot of conversations, meetings here in person. So there was a lot of positive engagement for several months. Yeah. Did you talk about the TV deal with NBC Sports? Just how did that renegotiation go? And, and is that a solid deal with them? Uh, you know, we have a long-term partnership with NBC California. They've been a great partner of the A's all the way back to 2008. We continue that here. People can watch the games on NBC California, the same channel that they can watch uh, the Kings. So I think it's a great partnership. We're excited it continues. And they've been a positive partner in making this happen. Now, if this is a positive arrangement for the next three years, will you give the stamp of approval to MLB about Sacramento being an MLB market? Well, I think the next three years are going to be a great way to showcase the interest in baseball. I mean, that's already happened with all the great success here with the River Cats over the years. I think these next three years will be a continuation of that. We're excited to see all the fans and families out here at the ballpark at Sutter Health Park. I think it's going to be an exciting experience, and that will play into the future of baseball in this community. Dave, scheduling here, how does that scheduling work with the River Cats possibly staying here in the middle We're working with Major League Baseball to identify the best way to do the scheduling for the two teams to coexist here, and that'll be something that we release this summer. Dave, six months ago, a year ago. You know, we looked at a variety of options, obviously Las Vegas, here, Salt Lake City, Oakland, and we felt that this was just a great interim home for the A's. We have a lot of fans in this region. It's a great location. We have a great partnership with the Kings and Vivek and his team. So it really ended up being the best option for the club. You know, we have, like I said, we have a long-standing TV partnership with um, NBC California and the Comcast Group. And, you know, they're an important partner stakeholder in making that decision. And they were very supportive of this location. Dave, did the Giants have to go... sign off on this because they are the parent club of the River Cats? Like, how did that whole partnership You know, the Giants, as our partner in Major League Baseball, have been involved in ensuring that we have a good interim home uh, for the A's. And Larry Bear and his team and Greg Johnson have been great to work with on that. And obviously we're going to be sharing the facility. They'll have the AAA team here. We'll have the Major League team here. But I think it can be done in a positive way and the facilities are going to be enhanced. So in the end, everybody's going to win. Dave, could you have even imagined a day that you'd be standing here six months ago, a year ago? Could you have even foreseen this, being in Sacramento? It, it is an incredible moment. You know, I've always felt that Sacramento is an incredible sports town. West Sacramento, especially the stadium. I've come here for years ever since it originally opened. And Alan Ledford hosted me here when he ran the team. And so I think it's just a great place to watch baseball. It's so intimate. It's like the spring training experience, but the games matter. And so I think people are going to have a fun time. People are going to travel in to see these games. It's going to be a great location for baseball. And as someone who's traveled to all 30 ballparks, you know, back, you know, almost 20 years ago now, seeing a baseball game, a major league baseball game in this type of setting, it's going to be world class. And well, it's going to be a lot of fun. How do you think the MLPPA is going to go with improving? Yeah, do they have any say in where you're playing? Um, the major league baseball has been working with the Players Association and informing them, and they've been updated on all the activities and the decisions. And they've been working together in a positive way. And that's something that MLB kind of takes the up. What was the biggest the thing? Here, what's the biggest update you think? Like, I know lighting is an adoption. Yeah. To look at the, the, the clubhouses. And Ellie just did an update here. But what other updates do we have? We're going to be rolling out all the different updates to the community, but it's going to be a mix of player amenities as well as actual fan amenities, which we're excited about. So it'll be a better fan experience. That's things like premium and video boards and things of that nature. So we'll be announcing that over time uh, with the Kings and John Reinhardt and their team. And we'll let people know about the different options. What was the blue seats as well or no? Um, I think it, it could. Yes. I, I, all those things are on the table. What do you feel yeah. just the biggest advantage? You mentioned Vegas, Oakland, even Salt Lake. What do you feel like was the biggest advantage that pushed West Sacramento over the top? Well, it's a combination of things. There's not any one thing. You know, I think obviously the strong fan base here, the fact that there are a lot of Ace fans who've been displaced from the Bay Area, the East Bay, especially to the Sacramento region. We think there's a built in fan base. The success of the River Cats over a generation. You know, this was our affiliate for years. We had amazing memories. You know, I was talking to Mark Kotze. He played here. He had rehab assignments. You know, like, there's a lot of connections there that are pretty exciting. And so I think all those things played a major part in making this happen. But I think the fundamental thing is Vivek and his team did an incredible job. West Sacramento, everyone here, of really rolling out the red carpet, or maybe even the green carpet, to ensure that we had a great partnership and experience. And we're looking for this is really just the beginning. This is the first day of really three great years, and we're excited to be part of it.